Hi, I'm Anna 3 superhero, and this is my channel. Hello, hello. I don't know, um, no face cam in this, but I'm gonna react to a PewDiePie video because I can't, because I will. Deal with it. Deal with it. Right now. Ah, oh, yes, the amazing intros. That was seizure. Joe Rogan. Oh, yeah. You have taken two steps too far. How dare you, you shiny head son of a bitch. Oh. Criticize oh, video shit. games. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, warning, warning, Joe Rogan criticized video games. And this is news. Q News is back, baby. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Joe Rogan soon. has his controversial remarks on video games. What the f dog? <sighs> Joe doesn't really understand Ninja response. My god! You don't get it, Joe. <laughs> Guess you're not a gamer, huh? Dang. Joe, I thought you liked no, Wait. Joking. Hey Joe, you may think I'm gonna be honest, loser, I have no life. idea who Joe but in the Rogan gaming is. world, you're the loser. Not a good than that. <laughs> okay, for those of you who don't know, Joe Rogan is a podcast host. Okay. I think he's one of the he's probably the most popular podcast host, I think at least. Mm, and uh, I mean I don't know how you even have a podcast in twenty twenty without pissing someone off every week. Uh, and today I guess he pissed off the gaming community. This time, you pissed off the wrong crowd, Mr. Joe. How dare you? How dare you criticize yeah, me? Yeah, I guess you did, huh? So what did Joe Rogan say? Well, let's check it out. You know, and then they, they seek refuge in drugs or video games or something that stimulates them. And video games so are here. a real problem. They're what? a real problem. Why? You know why? Because they're f***ing Oh, hell no. And you don't... Know, yeah. Well, I'm, I have a real problem. Ooh. And you... You do them, and they're real exciting, but you don't get anywhere. Right? It's like you okay. can do like like martial arts, right? You could learn jujitsu. Uh, you jiu can assess by jujitsu. Jiu and then three years later, you're a, you're like an elite jujitsu athlete. Like you're okay. a beta martial arts. Like three years to become an elite. Jiu-jitsu. Like you kind of crack his own Yeah, you're doing well. You're thinking, like, I might be able to open my own school one day. You got confidence. Yeah, if I have a hundred students, and those hundred students are paying me X amount of dollars per month. It's almost like if you have, like, a stream or something like that, with, like, a hundred viewers, and they, like, pay you X dollars a month. <laughs> Why are you talking about jujitsu, man? Hey, man, you ever heard about jujitsu? I've been doing it wrong. Gaming money? Get the f out of here. I'm all about that jujitsu bread. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm quitting get that YouTube right now. Up in here. I could be making jujitsu money this whole time, oh and no one told God. me there was jujitsu money laying around everywhere. I can make a Holy shit, I can have a. This would be amazing. And then you see your jujitsu school, and your jujitsu instructor. Oh, man. Has if he grew a mustache, he would be Dr. Nice no way. I could have a Mercedes okay. jujitsu Mercedes. God damn it! God damn it! I've been sold a pipe dream that isn't real. I make no money. Like, God you're damn doing it. something exciting and fun, and you're not. Or you could just be playing. Then you just say that gaming is too fun. Uh, I'm seeing a bit of correlating <laughs> message here, Joe. Playing video games. Three years later, you could be that same kid just playing video games, waiting for the next next whatever the fuck game is, oh, okay. and, you know, next Xbox game next to Xbox. come out, and you're gonna waste your time. You have oh, you need Jesus. You gotta waste your time playing video games. Jiu-Jitsu, mm -hmm. not a waste of time. I mean, I, I, I get what he's saying, though. At least with Jiu-Jitsu, you, you're building your body, you're building your muscles. You're <laughs> learning a skill that you're gonna have for life instead of a video game that comes out. You know, there's always a new cycle of games. You yeah, know, I'm gonna try Jiu-Jitsu now. I don't know why. It's gonna be in my I next video. My uh, Later so on, I get it, more I get his videos. point. It's just like the worst example ever with Jiu-Jitsu. And that's another thing, like, you wouldn't even have to be good at gaming to make a living, <laughs> obviously, right? There's, uh, uh, compared, <laughs> gaming compared to Jiu Jitsu as a, as a superior job, it's like the worst example you can make. For you real. can make analytical content, reviews, streaming, YouTube, esports, managing. I like all these so much aspects of gaming, and it's such a massive market. 
developing, uh, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, I'm curious what ninjas say. Let's check out what ninjas say. And I guess, I guess that's the thing. Like, who gives a what Joe Rogan has to say about <laughs> many of people say? No one cares. That's like what I would think about. I know, I know everything about everything, so it's hard to think of an example. Make them. That's like me saying, make them stupid. You cannot make money, make a dozen ads. But I think it's the fact that everyone is talking about this that, that makes it so interesting. For real. It's comment about wasting time. It's almost like Joe Rogan accidentally brought up the discussion of what is the meaning of life. Building a career for yourself or you're making money and uh, building something out of yourself or just having fun in the moment and enjoying yourself. And, hey. <laughs> Uh, that's almost how it became such a big deal. Uh, let's see what Mr. Ninja said. Most it's recent insane, uh, clip going on about Joe Rogan, his comment about video games, or like gamers. And I think where he was coming from, um, or what he was talking about specifically, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but what I, I watched the whole thing and try to get context of it and watch, you know. Wow. I don't want to say it. Just say you fucking hate him, Ninja. Just say it. Uh, I will put March in his mouth because uh, I, uh, I want to be invited to his podcast in the future. But I think maybe like what he meant was like that. Uh, I think I watched the whole clip and like uh, I don't think he meant anything bad. Do that podcast, Joe Rogan. Let's talk about games and shit. I love you, man. Before and after the clip, that was just you know being posted on or on Twitter. It sounds like he's talking about like the top one percent, like the very odd or one-off chance that you're going to be. Okay. A professional player and esports player and a successful one at that, right? I mean, you can be a professional esports player and you know beyond like a tier two, tier three org, which is not being paying you the most. And obviously, if you're not winning and being paid a lot, you're, and you're not a big streamer, then you're not really making a lot of money. Uh, so I'm assuming he's just basically talking about, you know, the top 1%, you're winning every tournament, you're on the top four, you've been, oh my god, Jesus. Alright, great. Uh, so yeah, there was a Twitter bad, but yeah, I saw a bunch of comments as well. Wow. I went gaming eight months ago, bought a new car, I have an amazing new girlfriend, I make a load of money, and I'm buying a house this spring. I party every weekend. I'm never home. I join lab. Do yourself a favor. Stop trying to make a gaming career and scratch as fuck. Wow. And of course, we have the contrast here. Quit my job four months ago. Bought a car. Got out of an unhealthy relationship. I make more money now playing video games. I also use my platform to bring awareness to mental health and bipolar life. It's great. Do yourself a favor. Stop being cool. My name is I wasted my time playing video games as a kid to such a degree that I wanted to know how to make them. I wasted time learning some coding, art, sound, and music, and now I've been <laughs> wasting my life for nearly 30 years writing music for them, and companies waste lots of money paying me for it. And then, yeah. Well, I, damn. Even though I kind of memed it already, I feel like it'd be so easy for me to come at Joe Rogan's statement and be like, yeah, Joe, you f***ing idiot. <laughs> I make money playing video games with right. the talk about you dumb How can you be so stupid? It really just sounds like a boomer. I'm sure when, I, when like I'm when uh, i old and I'll have my podcast and I'll just go, yeah, these fucking kids, man, back in my day, we played real games. Now these kids are playing VR, SMR, real men, back in my day, we played Fortnite, goddammit. We played Battle Royales, but they don't even know what that means. <laughs> this is such a generational gap that's always existed. Even with novels, I'm sure people said like, oh, people wasting their time reading books huh? you should be go out there in the real world enjoy the real world oh, cringe <laughs> it's just a thing that's always been going on and it's always going to keep happening but I also find it yeah I do find it kind of cringe with all the streamers be going after Joe being like well I make a living he's so stupid <laughs> it feels kind of irresponsible almost to just say, say that because it's I love the idea that I can just inspire my audience or I I don't know, people in general, if they want to pursue YouTube and other gaming related things, like, yeah, go for it. But I don't want to sell people on the pipe dream that is possible for everyone because it isn't. Just like any sport or uh, profession, you, you have to be in that one top percent or 0 0.1 or whatever the percentage may be to really be successful at it. And it just doesn't happen to everyone. And that's, yeah. just, that's just reality of life. Does that mean you shouldn't pursue your dreams? No, but I think it's it. Important to have some 
perspective of your what you're pursuing at least yeah. and I think especially when you're talking about something that is actually like what Joe was saying highly addictive like the video games are dopamine hits and having kids being so exposed to them for hours and hours I can't honestly say that I think that's necessarily a good thing either I, it kind of worries me as well a little bit when we design something to be addicted and even myself as a kid I was probably I, I yeah looking back I was definitely actually addicted to video games and uh, I think a lot of kids are <laughs> I think it's way more common than people think so even though there's a ton of benefits to video games like I read studies saying that it helps with logical thinking like puzzle solving I guess that's logical thinking. Reaction time, if you think that's important. Yeah, it can improve your memory. You can meet friends online. Yeah. It can help you get out of mental health situations. There's a ton of positive benefits. But I think that doesn't make gaming above criticism. It seems like the gaming community is so sensitive to criticism. Like, just acknowledging that gaming addiction is a thing and that it is a problem, which I think is what Joe is trying to get at. He's just, he just brought up a terrible example, <laughs> at least, I think. Uh, yeah, if I meet you, your podcast, Joe, I love you. This is what it really meant, guys. It doesn't diminish all the good. You can talk about both. It's okay. Uh, you know, if gaming is your only hobby, I would invite you to try something else. Yeah. It's fun. That's the fun thing about life. It's like what we talked about at the beginning. Is life about pursuing, uh, trying to build something big for yourself or just enjoying yourself? And I think personally... The answer is just a balance of both. To me, the idea of going through life being perf just feeling comfortable and feeling happy in the moment, being entertained, is terrifying. I hate that idea. I never want to live life just like that. But also, uh, living life, when I look at people that are all about optimizing and trying to be as effective as possible and, and, and accomplish as much as possible, that makes me really disgusted as well. I, I think there's just a middle ground. I feel like I, I am yeah, though everything has to be in the across gray. the years. Like, That's what I'm really I, saying. A, a, a few years ago, as you guys know, I, I got into reading a lot more. So like, not too light, <laughs> not too dark, but it has to I be in the gray. Like, such a movement. It's just like comparing that hobby, which is something you kind of have to force yourself a little bit to get into, if you're not used to it, to something compared to video games. I mean, you can't always I mean, be obviously too it's much of something. For everyone, and everyone gets different you gotta things out of different hobbies, but be I, right in the I can't honestly say I get that much out of video games. Don't be too trusting of people, but don't trust, no, that I trust like, people Oh, I learned all. something. I actually got something out of this. Even if it's fiction, I can still, oh, cool. I can don't be myself in, too in nice, character. and don't yes, be too bad. Yes, you do that in games, but I don't think games are that good at it. I don't think they are. I can't remember the last time I played a game of like, oh, I learned something. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there are examples. Selfish, it just and don't be too selfish. Everything's in the gray. Find a balance. By all means, enjoy video games. It's a great find hobby. It's super fun. It's, it's the fun truest to share thing with other people. And Thank that's what made my job possible. And I couldn't be happier about it. But also find a balance. I think that's what makes life fun. Doing different things. I don't know. I just thought this whole uh, discussion was so interesting. And I'm curious what you guys think. Anyway, passing on the question to you guys. And that's it for Poppy Samoria today. And remember... Keep gaming gamers. Ah, uh, the best. Show me on a trivial video game. I dump my head in the water so I can feel something. And now I'm thinking of all the time that I'm following. I reminisce and remember all the songs we sing. But now I hate every one of the songs we Can you believe that I didn't think you would leave me? And now I can't just stand you because you just left me. I wish I never responded to all the sex. It'll be better if we had just never met. Can you believe that I'm missing you even though when I was with you I never felt more alone? I wish I never responded to all the sex. It'll be better if we had just never met